Now let us explain why the measurement of small components, such as these micrometer parts, are difficult. The tactile dimensional measurement is commonly applied for 3D structure observation. The probing ball diameters of conventional probing system range from 0.5 to 0.2 millimeter, and the probing balls of this size normally pose great problems. The measurement uncertainty strongly increases due in particular to elastic and plastic deformation in the probing system. Also, the unoptimized measurement parameter setting deforms the workpiece elastically or even plastically. Additionally, the probe handling itself is concerned in the actual production use. In conclusion, even with small probes applied for measurement, the previously shown structure observation is impossible. So the optical methods are preferably applied instead. However, difficulties often arise in the optical measurement of real work pieces. For example, edge detection is often distorted by designs, material faults, and other issues, and strongly depends on the image evaluation, such as illumination, the algorithm settings. The conventional optical measurements are usually possible only on surfaces which are approximately normal to the optical axis. Problems become particularly evident when small trenches of 0.5 millimeter or less in diameter are to be measured. Additionally, the optical wavelength is 100 nanometer to one millimeter according to DIN, which is a national organization for standard, standardization of German. Thus, the spot size of the measurement varies and very limited number of suppliers provide a single micron spot size equipment. And lastly, and most importantly, no measurement standard exists in small metal components measurement. The global or local standard for metal part evaluation is settled for 30 millimeter or larger size or very small scale for semiconductor industry applications. Therefore, a few millimeter size with micron order tolerance requirement is an area not well considered yet. The demand is now increasing significantly. There is always some new technology or equipment developed, as we know, and some of the latest equipment covers those missing fields. We have done our best to install the latest technology at the time and accumulated the measurement know-how within our limited resource. MIM is a stable serial production method since we use a mold. If the mold is precisely produced, once we start the serial production, the dimensional stability is already confirmed. Because we have developed our feedstock characterized by good metal powder uniformity over the injection molding. For the small component production, the feedstock flowability can be the bottleneck. And the flowability issue is observed in visual inspection. Therefore, we have concentrated on offline precise measurement development. In 3D measurement, the measurement accumulation pose is significant. However, since our micromin parts are small to handle, this pose issue is negligible. On the other hand, the measurement resolution is significant for our case. As I mentioned before, the resolution or measurement spot size varies with the equipment. Thus, careful equipment selection is also required. These are some of our deployed measurement equipment. So here, top optical 3D scanner. Our 3D scanner has a high resolution optical digitizer that delivers rapid and precise three-dimensional measuring data using blue light fringe technology. The smallest spot size is four micron. Next here, the CT scanner. So this is measurement X-ray CT. It efficiently measures internal and external geometry with our reference measurements. The smallest spot size is three micron. Now here to the left is SEM. 
everyone knows that if we use SEM, we can observe until sub-micron order. The SEM we are using is out-lens type SEM to observe the metal parts efficiently. Now we are here on our inspection equipment. This is key and VR. Um, these VR 3D measurement systems are capable of high-speed 3D measurement capturing full surface data. The automatic place and measure capability allows easy to operate with or without fixture and jig. It is applicable to inline high volume measurement, but measurement program setting is required in advance. This time we would like to introduce our gear measurement examples. Traditionally, gear measurement has taken place using tactile or specialized optical measurement with expensive customized equipment or rotation through small angular increments and numer numerous measurements, either optically or with calipers. In tactile measurements, gear roll testing is widely accepted for gear evaluation. It consists of a master gear meshed with a test piece to measure the form errors. However, there has been difficulty in repeatability with this method due to part change, i.e. the wear. A further issue with roll testing is that slight sliding can occur, leading to unstable readings. Also, there was no clarity or fixed guidelines for measuring or reporting in such inspection. Therefore, most of the gear quality assurance requires movement check after counter counterparts are assembled. However, in microbeam technology, precise high-resolution 3D measurement is deployed, and with careful data analysis, we evaluate numerically. Due to the fact that high-resolution 3D measurement data consists of millions points location information, each single teeth evaluation is capable. The gear specifications such as module, pitch, pressure angle, tooth depth, and those errors are all deviations will be shown in a data set. Also, gears that are designed with special curves, for example, involute gear or helical gear, those curves will be analyzed by our measurement specialists. The gear measurement requires to compose a measurement program, which takes a few working days. But once we set the program for the gear, a non specially with reliable and stable measurement is realized. Among the measured 3D datasets and CAD drawing data, we can simulate the movement in an assembled state. The gear machine is an important spec but from the measurement data only, it is difficult to evaluate whether the gear will satisfy the requirement. Thus, the movement test in, is held after the assembly process. It means some gear might fail the assembly test, and it leads to losses in production. To minimize those losses, we are capable of simulating the movement test using multi-sets of the scan gear data or scan data and CAT data. Now let's talk about the 3D micromim parts measurement. So 3D micromim is one of the topics that we have had in the previous webinar, but for those who haven't watched those archives yet, I will go briefly over what they are. So 3D micromimim is our uh, original technology that makes the MIM part to have some undercut or some um, impossible internal uh, structures with mold technology. So you can see here the SP mold or sacrificial plastic mold is first created in a mold and then it is uh, over molded with metal. In the D binding, or we also call it the and sintering stage, this core is together with the material inside the binder, it is yeah, debinded or with the heat, it goes away, and then 
it shrinks. So you can see that the difference from here to here is quite great. So you can see the actual X-ray CT scan of this internal structure. We use the same method for um, this photo structure, like the micro check valve that has been shown in the micro nozzle. So you can apply the micro MIM measurement technology to our 3D micro MIM parts as well. 